We had found out I was going deaf when I was three and a half years old when I had gotten diagnosed with Moi Moi disease. It was a tough decision to make. But we made it. I thought that maybe it was just something that was going around, some type of like virus that was making her tired um, and sick, not wanting to eat. I noticed something was wrong when I was walking up the stairs and I had fallen. I couldn't get back up because my legs were really numb. That's when we had to go to the hospital. First couple of times when the doctors came in and they were like, okay, well, we think it might be, you know, leukemia and no parent wants to hear that. Just uh, bringing back a lot of memories from when she was younger. It was very shocking that it was cancer, very shocking. But Tampa General, step by step, they've done very well for us. They told us that, you know, this is going to be a long ride. You're going to be in here weeks, maybe months at a time. I came home and I just packed a suitcase and I basically told him that I wasn't leaving the hospital. When she's there, I'm there. Having the family there was just an extra strength. I was the first one to notice that, you know, she was losing her hair as I was washing it. So, you know, I broke down, but dad and her kind of made an agreement that they shaved each other's heads. <laughs> it was good to watch, but also emotional. When the day did come, and we walked out the room and we saw all the nurses. It was um, tears of joy. Two nurses she felt that were family to her. They put her, her boxing gloves on and she went to ring the bell in honor of her beating the acute myeloid leukemia cancer. Watching her do it was amazing. I cried, of course, um, but it, I was full of emotion that day. We had all the nurses there. Pretty much a lot of the uh, nurses that were by her side through it all from beginning to end. Once I had rang the bell, it meant that I was done fighting uh, cancer, that I beat the battle. It feels amazing to be cancer free.